So, you have digigrade style legs, but you don't know how to make a proper leg control. Not a problem. So, just in case you don't know, reverse joint legs are different from digigrade legs. Generally, reverse joint legs usually have three bones. Thigh, shin, and foot. So, things like Anubis from Zone of the Enders and the ATST from Star Wars would be considered reverse joint. Digigrade legs, on the other hand, are like animal legs. They might look similar at first glance, but if you look closely, digigrade legs usually go forward, then backward, then forwards again. Reverse joint legs just go backwards and then forwards. So here you can see that I have a digigrade type legged enemy, and I have half the skeleton already made for it. But I haven't made any of the IK controls yet, so here is how I would do that. Extrude a bone from the knee and make sure that it has no parent, name it knee IK left and then change pivot to individual origin. Duplicate the foot, press S to make it a little bigger, and again, make sure it has no parent. And name it foot IK left. Then go to pose mode, click the foot IK, shift click the shin, shift I to add inverse kinematics, add your knee IK bone to the pull target. If your leg has two joints, set chain length to two. Otherwise, my character has digigrade legs, so I'm gonna set it to three. The rotation seems to be a bit off, so we're gonna change pull angle to negative 90. All right, the IK should be working, but we need the foot to copy the rotation of the IK. So click the foot IK, shift click the foot, and press control, shift, C, R. All right, now it should also be rotating correctly. Now to add the pivot control, in edit mode, click the tip of the toe bone, E to extrude a bone straight up, and name it toe pivot left. Clear its parent, then make sure that it's parented to the toe. Then make sure the foot IK is parented to the toe pivot. Then click the toe bone and clear the parent. You're done. Awesome, now we have an advanced foot rig for a digigrade leg with inverse kinematics, pull target to control direction, position control, and toe pivot control. And since I have half the body rigged, if I select everything that I want to mirror, right click, and symmetrize, now you will see that it also mirrored all the work I did for my IK and controls. So I don't have to do all this again for the other side, which would probably save you some time. Just make sure that before before you do this, you check each bone to make sure that it's named correctly, parented correctly, and if it's not going to control weight painting, make sure the form is set to false. Then you can proceed to do whatever weight paint workflow you want. Anyway, hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.